Ivrim, Hebrews 11. Now, belief is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through belief, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By belief, Havel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, Yahuwah testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaks. By belief, Hanak was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because Yahuwah had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony, that he pleased Yah. But without belief it is impossible to please him, for he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By belief Noah, being warned of Elohim, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned, rather, condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by belief. By belief, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By belief he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Yitzhak and Yaakov, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is Yahuwah. Through belief also Sarah, herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in belief, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country, and truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly. Wherefore, Yahuwah is not ashamed to be called their Elohim, for he has prepared for them a city. By belief, Avraham, when he was tired, rather tried, offered up at Yitzhak, and he that had received the promises offered up at his Yahid, of whom it was said, That in Yitzhak shall your seed be called. Accounting that Yahuwah was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By belief, Yitzhak blessed at Yaakov and Esau concerning things to come. By belief, Yaakov, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Yosef, and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By belief, Yosef, when he died, 
made mention of the departing of the children of Yashadael, and gave commandment concerning his bones. By belief, Moshe, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents, because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By belief, Moshe, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Paro's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Mitzrayim, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By belief he forsook Mitzrayim, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured, as seeing him eth who is invisible. Through belief he kept eth the pikach, and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By belief they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Mitzrim, assaying to do, were drowned. By belief the walls of Yericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. By belief the harlot Rechav perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gidan, and of Barach, and of Shimshan, and of Yiftach, of David also, and Shemuel, and of the prophets, who through belief subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to fight, rather, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts, and in mountains, and in dens, and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through belief, received not the promise, Yahuwah having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. <laughs>